Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Bite of Geek. Today I'm going to be uh, taking you through uh, installing some LED light strips into my uh, gaming rig. Um, these are uh, relatively cheap on, on Amazon uh, at the moment, um, just a, a few pounds but they do vary in quality so I'm going to take you through uh, just a couple of things that you need to be aware of when, you, when you're looking at these. I'll put a link to the one that I uh, bought uh, in the description down below but um, without further ado let's uh, let's get to it so guys this is the system that I'm putting the uh, LED strip into today uh, this is my uh, Corsair uh, tower case um, as you can see there uh, I've got a, um, a perspex window on this so this is uh, ideal for, for having a little bit of light uh, showing through um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn it on so you can see what's uh, what's there already, and um, and then you know we'll we'll go through installing the LED strip. I'll talk you through some of the details about it, and um, then we can uh, see what it looks like when it's uh, when it's finished. Okay, so when this is uh, on, uh, just got power to the motherboard. Not actually, yeah, system powered on, but when it's got power to the motherboard, there are actually a couple of little lights uh, which which come on uh, inside. It gives it a little bit of a of a glow there. Um, but um, I've actually got uh, Corsair fans with uh, red LEDs uh, in them uh, in the, the top of the case so I'm going to turn the, the system on now and you can see what that uh, that looks like okay so um, as you can see a little bit more a uh, little bit more light in there coming through um, that's, that's primarily now being uh, supplied by the uh, the LEDs from the, the fans at the top um, so I'm, I'm not actually planning on putting the LED strip uh, in the top or the or the back of the case um, what I'll be doing is looking at putting this in the in the bottom of the case and um, what I'll do is uh, see what that looks like uh, obviously it's daytime at the moment um, but I know for a fact that even um, with the LEDs that are in there at the moment uh, of a night time this this does give off uh, a nice subtle uh, glow um, so let's uh, let's get the side of the case off and uh, get installing this strip so okay guys so the um, the LED strip that I've gone and bought uh, to go in the case um, this is uh, from uh, CSL uh, computers um, this the reason why I've chosen this one um, there are a number of them on uh, on Amazon uh, but the reason why I've chosen this one is uh, primarily because uh, it's got uh, 3M uh, tape uh, on the back, which uh, I highly recommend uh, you get um, your strips with that on. Um, and the other um, reason is uh, what they call the tails. So these are the, the power tails. Um, now they do have variable lengths of, uh, of power tails. So you can get kind of like 20 centimeters, 40 centimeters, etc. Um, and uh, you need to be very careful when, you, when you're choosing um, your, uh, you know, the, the uh, LED strip because um, the descriptions are slightly confusing um, sometimes and it makes it look like you're getting a, an LED strip that's, uh, kind of like 60 centimeters actually you know you get in an LED strip of a, of a certain size and then you get in these uh, these longer tails so if you've got um, you know your only power connector is going to be in the top end of the case and you're going to run this at the bottom you need to make sure that you've got the right uh, the, the, the right length of tail um, uh, on your strip or get yourself another uh, extension power uh, adapter for inside the case so the one I've gone for is uh, what's known as a 33 uh, LED strip, and as you can see, that's um, that's what's on on the uh, along the strip here. You've got these individually mounted uh, LEDs there, uh, and this one's in red. Um, they've got a, a number of different colours that you can get. Um, so you you know you choose whichever one you want to um, you want to have for your case. Um, so okay, I'm going to get a side off this uh, this case and um, get get uh, installing this. Okay, so um, whenever you're going to be working inside your computer, um, you know it's just good practice to uh, make sure you uh, you know turn off your power, disconnect your power leads from your uh, from your system. If you've got any kind of uh, uh, earthing strap or something like that, then uh, you know 
uh, were that um, just to protect the components in your system failing that then uh, just discharge yourself on um, a metal part of the case power supply is normally a, a good uh, a good point to go for um, so let's just uh, let's just get this panel off the side here let's pop that down there so you see slightly uh, less reflective now so you can get a better uh, better look of what's uh, what's inside it's a little bit dusty but uh, nothing too uh, too bad there you go. so my power supply is just at the bottom of the case here um, so my plan is to uh, to run the strip uh, along the inside edge here obviously I don't want to uh, put it up against this part of the case because this is where the side panel connects onto um, I could put it uh, at the uh, along the back here on the inside edge there um, the only problem with that is that uh, there are screw holes uh, here and uh, further down on the case as well um, so that's going to um, the the strip will actually um, uh, impede those uh, those screws so this this to me seems the safest bet to be along the bottom here so um, whenever you're applying something uh, that's a you know meant to be like a strong bond like uh, 3m sticky tape and things like that um, it always works best if you clean the area first some kind of um, uh, alcohol based cleaner um, so that's what I'm going to do first so make sure you give it a good wipe down uh, at the point where the the tapes actually going to uh, connect to the case um, what you don't want is um, you know anywhere where it's uh, you know it's if not clean it's not going to get that good bond because what will happen with the heat uh, that you get in the case um, what will happen is the tape will eventually just end up peeling away um, over over time and um, you know that's just gonna uh, cause you more problems in the long run because then you need to um, get some more uh, 3m tape and it's it's not cheap stuff so um, make sure you give it a good clean get any elements of dirt and dust off there okay so um, now uh, my power supply is a modular power supply and uh, in fitting this uh, in fitting this um, LED strip um, what I've realized is that um, because pretty much all the components inside uh, the system are uh, fairly modern components they've all got um, SATA um, connections on them um, that uh, I, I didn't actually have anything that had uh, a standard kind of like Molex uh, connector on it in the system so what I've uh, done is I've dug out uh, the spur supply of, uh, of cables and I've added on um, a uh, just a, a Molex uh, branch there from the power supply this won't actually get used for anything else in the system but um, you know if you've if you've got a non-modular system you've probably got one of those uh, already on the power supply but just something to be aware of these these LEDs tend to come with a Molex connector on them um, now you know I've, I've got fairly reasonable um, cable management in this system um, I, I don't intend uh, certainly not for this video to go and uh, go and cable manage uh, how this is going to um, be in the system but uh, for the moment I'm, I'm just going to leave this uh, in, at the, in at the bottom of the case it's uh, it's out of the way um, there's no impact to airflow or anything like that um, and it it'll not be something that's uh, noticeable um, with the uh, with the panel on so when you're installing your LED strip you really need to kind of think about um, you know where, where things are going to come back uh, and by that I mean you know where, where is this power connector going to come back you know because you don't really want this hanging uh, down all over the place um, so you know you need to uh, you're not gonna you know at, the, at this length with with 33 uh, LEDs on it you're not gonna get this wrapping around the whole inside of the case um, so you need to just uh, just put a little bit of pre-planning uh, thought into this as I say mine is um, basically going to go on the inside here um, and I will have um, my cable uh, will come back uh, just on the edge there uh, out of the way so it, when you when you're doing this it's uh, it's a good idea just to take a little bit of the uh, the backing tape uh, off the uh, off the strip don't don't you know peel the whole lot off 
um, you know what you don't want to be doing is dealing with one one whole lot of uh, sticky uh, sticky LEDs in one go so uh, peel a small amount off uh, put it into place make sure it's firmly pressed down you've got that starting bit there so just take the uh, the camera off the mount and just uh, give you guys a bit of a bird's eye view just so you can see what it looks like on the inside here uh, if we can get the camera just to focus a little bit uh, on that so as you can see the strip is uh, is just on the inside there right up against the edge uh, and it's going to go all the way along uh, up on the inside here uh, when it's uh, when it's finished so just keep on uh, as you're going along just keep on taking off a little bit more of the backing tape uh, just enough to keep on pushing that strip further along so I don't take it all off yet uh, when you get into any kind of difficult spot just you know just on the edge here there's actually uh, you know a, a casing bolt um, so you just need to you know uh, wrap it around uh, the back of that just to get it into place uh, make sure you're not putting it over anything because that's just going to um, allow it to, uh, to to loosen up okay so keep on going take a little bit more of the backing tape off always making sure you're staying flat to the panel and then when you come to your final bit there that is firmly in place make sure if it's pushed down and that uh, you know, you're happy overall with with what you've got what you then need to do is just uh, make sure you've got your cables nicely put away connect on to your molex connector as I say I'll do some uh, nicer cable management at a later time we will now uh, plug the cable back in switch on so the leds aren't gonna um, come on because obviously you know you're driving it via the molex so uh, you need to bear that in mind you know if you want something that's going to be uh, there when when you you've not got your computer uh, on um, you probably need to look for a different solution for that um, but this is uh, what that looks like. So you can see these are a lot more, a uh, lot, a uh, lot more brighter than the uh, the previous ones. Uh, if I uh, actually then put the side panel back on, um, it's a good test to make sure I've got it all uh, in a good place. Now it's. Uh, Kind of like super reflective on the camera uh, as you can see you got that nice uh, nice uh, glow inside the case there um, and uh, what I'll do is uh, when it's it's actually a little bit darker I'll um, I'll take a, a picture of this uh, on so you can see what it looks like and I'll, uh, I'll post it on my blog which is uh, bitergeek.com and um, you can see uh, see what the overall effect looks like in the dark so as you can see, easy, quick, five minute job, um, you know, for just five, six pound uh, for that particular length of cable and that, that quality. Hopefully you'll agree. That's uh, a nice little addition to the setup. <laughs> Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, can I get a thumbs up? 
uh, be much appreciated. Um, leave some comments down below. You know what are your thoughts on uh, LED uh, lights in your in your gaming rig. Um, subscribe to the channel, and um, you know let me know. Do, do you want to see more videos like this? Um, do you want to see me follow up on some of the other videos that I've got on my channel? Um, you know you let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll see you in the next uh, next instalment. Thanks for watching.